As Barnaby Lowe pointed out, the Malaysian acting minister of transportation confirmed that some data was deleted from the flight simulator at the home of one of the pilots. Now the U.S. FBI has started the process of retrieving the missing data. Martin Savage goes inside a 777 simulator and files this report. Mike, I'm inside a cockpit simulator for a 777. It's a great tool to try to demonstrate some of the aspects about this investigation. And this plane is set up exactly as Flight 370 was on a course to Beijing on that fateful night. Um, let's talk about, though, another flight simulator. That's the one that was reportedly found inside of the pilot's home. And it's that which investigators are going through. And of course, what they're looking for is if there is any evidence in that flight simulator that might lead them as to what could have happened to Flight 370. Was there some sort of course that was being practiced over and over? Any kind of clue? Investigators are now saying that there are indications that there were files deleted. That could be unusual, it may not be. It's a computer after all. It could be any number of legitimate reasons to delete files. Often it's done to make extra room. These navigation uh, aids eat up a lot of memory. Let's talk about something else though, the course change of the particular aircraft. It's been reported that 14, well, 12 to 14 minutes before that all right, good night, the co-pilot signing off, this plane made a course change. Could it be done? Yeah, it can quite easily if you're a trained pilot and know the systems. This is the flight management system. Roughly seven to eight keystrokes, punch it in, hit the commit key, and you send this plane on a completely different course. Speculated it may have turned as much as 120 degrees, veering away from Beijing and going off in a mystery. What we don't know is why. Emergency? Were they threatened the crew? Or were they acting with some plan we have yet to discover? We simply don't know, Mike.